the most controversial thing that I teach leaders. How do you remain authentic when you're responsible for leading change and you don't agree with it or even feel comfortable supporting the change? There are times in every leader's leadership journey that he or she must be authentic and confidently lead others through a change when that leader is not feeling supportive of it. Feeling unsupportive of a change is not a leadership travesty unless you communicate your lack of support. Everyone needs time to understand, absorb, and adopt a change. No matter where a leader is in his or her transition process, there is an obligation as a leader to be actively and visibly involved in the change, communicate about the change, and get others to support the change. Staying on the sidelines is incongruent with good change leadership. Here's some tips for leading through change authentically. Delineate. That means get clear about the roles that you play. A critical mistake is confusing the private role of an employee and the public role of a manager or leader within the organization. These are two separate and distinct roles. If you have children, think about the difference between your interaction with your spouse and your interaction with your kids. Spouse and parent are two completely different roles, just as leader and employee are different roles you play. Next is describe. Share the change with employees in their context, not in yours. During change, leaders often struggle to share anything because they don't have all the answers. Describe the connection between the change and the organizational direction or strategy and the values. Or describe the process that's being followed to implement the change. People need to feel certainty. It's the leader's responsibility to share what people need to know whether they need to know it versus telling the employees everything they know. Designate. You need a confidant, such as a coach or trusted colleague at a peer or above level that you can talk about and share the private truth of your doubts or concerns. A leader's personal fears or uncertainty is never appropriate to share with employees. On a flight a few years ago, the oxygen masks dropped and the flight attendant became visibly shaken. She started telling the passengers how she had never experienced this before and she didn't know what was going on. This inappropriate sharing intensified the fear felt by me and my fellow passengers. Leaders should never inflict their uncertainty on employees. Authenticity in leadership is about being trustworthy. Trust is a critical character quality for leadership. It's expressed by leaders with their words that match actions. Being trustworthy does not mean telling everything you know or sharing everything you feel. Being a trustworthy, authentic leader through change by taking time to delineate, describe, and designate. You'll be more effective as you lead others through change. We put together the Change Leader Toolkit to help leaders create successful habits to ensure sticky change. Download this powerful tool that's been used by thousands of leaders to lead change well. The Change Leader Toolkit will build on your brilliance and help you increase your leadership confidence and effectiveness. Bright on with Brighton Leadership.